Well, to New York now, where the Army is investigating three service member suicides in less than two days, all at the same base. Those deaths earlier this month were among members of the famed 10th Mountain Division at Fort Drum in upstate New York. It's not far from the U.S.-Canada border. Now, members of the unit are among those brought back stateside during the chaotic U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. A News Nation correspondent Tom Negevin live in New York today. So, Tom... This is just so disturbing. How is the military dealing with this? You know, they're doing the best they can, Nicole. They're telling us tonight that one of these soldiers was among the very last to be brought home from deployment in Afghanistan. His deployment not believed to be related to his death, but this is Suicide Prevention Month nationally, and tonight the military is doing what it can to get the message out to all service members to seek help if they should need it. News Nation affiliate, uh, Syracuse affiliate, was in Fort Drum on September 6th, as members of the 10th Mountain returned from Afghanistan, more than 100 members of the 4th Battalion, 31st Infantry, had been there for about nine months on their current deployment, last responsible for securing the airport in Kabul as the Taliban took control of that country. A dangerous assignment, but in spite of it, no casualties to the unit at that time. A spokesperson telling us the deaths of 21-year-old Private First Class Tyler Thomas, 26-year-old Specialist Sika Tapalelu, and 24-year-old Staff Sergeant Angel Green were separate, self-inflicted, and unrelated. The unit's commander reaching out to his troops with a statement calling them mountain tough and saying if you have problems, challenges, or issues, there is help available from this chain of command all the way down to help you get the resources you need. Do not, he says, suffer in silence. Now, during the wars in Iraq, and Afghanistan, PTSD and related self-harm became one of the most pressing issues facing the U.S. military, and it remains that way. This is proof of that, Nicole. Uh, the latest report on service member suicides related to Afghanistan and Iraq uh, earlier this year by the VA found four times as many veterans and current service members dying by suicide as dying in combat, Nicole. And we absolutely hate to hear that. Our thoughts certainly go out to their families and colleagues. Tom, we appreciate your reporting.